One question that I'm asked most frequently, of course, is how do I feel better right now? How can I feel better immediately? There are things that you can do. There are pills you can take, as most of you have probably discovered. And you can get relief very quickly by doing the wrong thing. Well, we don't want to get relief by making ourselves worse in the long run. Like, you take something like reflux, for example. But if you want to take an acid blocker, of course some people get some benefit from that. Of course they do, right? That's why they're so popular. But what are you doing? Right? Well, you're making your organs work harder because you actually need your stomach acid. So you can't just take a pill to block your stomach acid, even if it makes you feel better. That's not a good solution. It's not a, it's not a good way to feel better quickly. So are there good ways to make yourself feel better quickly that also don't cause longer term damage, longer term harm, more work uh, over the long term. Yes, of course there are. What are you trying to figure out? Like, oh, can I eat this food? Should I do this? But basically, if you're reaching out to me, you have IBS, you're suffering on a day-to-day -day basis, and I know how bad it is. I do. I I've been there. I understand exactly how tricky. It's, it's like the, the mythological hydra, right? You figure out one thing and it seems to make your condition a little better and then seven more things pop up, right? And, and that's digestive disease in a nutshell for you. So you don't want to be taking a ton of supplements. Most people, I get emails every single week. Somebody's asking like, oh, I'm taking, you know, and they list 17 different supplements. It's like, you're taking that every day? Um, I think we've discovered why you're sick. Okay, you cannot be taking a ton of supplements and expect to get well. All of these things have some kind of effect especially on your body's, your, your body's effort level. If you're taking supplements, your body has to deal with that, right? That means your liver has to work harder and harder and harder, right? Well, what's that doing to your other organs? For most people, it's going to crash the entire system if you keep taking a ton of supplements. Second of all, do you even know what those supplements do? Do you really understand? Or are you trying to think according to some kind of molecular biology explanation about, oh, I take quercetin, right for inflammation it's like well why are, are you sure that's what you should be doing right it's not like there's there's good medical understanding of oh your your when, when i talk about symptom specific i mean okay you have bloating and gas okay well there's a very very dirt cheap simple remedy and if you know how to take it the right way at the right time in the right order along with the rest of your foods and your meal you can get rid of bloating and gas in one day Right? Or you can radically reduce it, but stop and think. Like, if you're doing the wrong things every day and making yourself sick because you don't know that your habits are, are, are wrong, right? your thinking is wrong. There's, in the phase one material, there's 13 myths that I find that people get wrong over and over again. Right? This is not, I didn't make this up last week. This is after 10 years of clinical practice and 20 years of study and teaching medicine. So understand. Stop doing certain things and your body will get ready to recover. Then target your symptoms, exactly your symptoms. There's some very, very inexpensive remedies. They're very hard to, you almost can't buy a bad one because they're so simple and they're very inexpensive. I'm, when I say inexpensive, I'm talking like $40 for a six month supply. Okay. I know there's people out there treating digestive disorders and, and selling supplements online and and I don't even sell these. I just recommend them to you because I, I know you can get benefit from them. And, and really what you're getting in this program is my knowledge and my experience of having gone through this and treated a lot of patients to, to help them get over it too. You, you don't need to spend a lot, right? There's supplements out there that are like $70 a bottle and you're supposed to get like a bottle a, a week or every two weeks. It's like, that's several thousand dollars a year. Are you sure you want to are you sure you want to be doing that because you probably don't need to, right? It's I'm not saying there's not other good stuff out there, but a lot of it's just crap. And a lot of it's just, right? If if I wanted to sell you a bunch of supplements, I could come up with a supplement and try to string people along and get a bunch of uh, extra money out of them too, but you just don't need it. It's much easier to put your body together this way, and if you Take your supplements on a symptom-specific basis, you're going to get way, way better results than just blindly, right, gulping down a bunch of uh, different so-called natural remedies, right? Natural remedies can make you sick just as fast as anything else, especially if you don't know what you're doing. And especially if you think, oh, they're natural, so it must be safe, it must be better, it must be okay. Not true. Not even close to true. Okay? So these three things, the form in which you prepare your food matters. It definitely matters. Number two, the order in which you eat things. And then number three, how do you supplement specific to your symptoms? How do you do that part and get it right so that you're fixing, you're not masking any symptom, you're fixing the underlying imbalance and the symptom goes away on its own. That's what we're doing here at, uh, at the IBS protocol and, and in all of my teaching.
right, for all of the various digestive uh, ailments that people come to me with, that's, that's what I'm teaching you in this. If you haven't gotten started on it, I hope you do. This is very, very important for your, for your learning, for your health. I mean, this is something that can permanently heal your body. So why not give it a shot, right? If anything I've said here makes any kind of sense, you're like, wait a second, that, that kinda, that, that's my experience. What he's talking about is what's happening to me. Well, good, because that's what I hear day after day, year after year uh, while I'm teaching people this. So, so I hope you go for it. Thanks very much.